tell us about this goal. It's not going to seem a clue what actually happened. <laughs> what do you think? Um, I mean, obviously, we sort of use the conditions to our advantage. Um, just whipped in on the keeper. I think Alphos has done a good defensive header for them. Um, and then I think the rest of it's just a pure scramble. Boys are coming over to me. I'm not really sure what happened. Um, I think it's gone down as an own goal to one of the fair players, but we'll take it. I was going to say, you really it at some point, but it just had to work out what was going on, wasn't it? I mean, there was, there was a little bit of me thinking I should claim it, but um, no, I think if I do claim it, I think the boys will be on to me about that. Was that some of the hardest conditions you've ever had to play in? It seemed pretty wild down there. Yeah, it was definitely uh, definitely up there. Um, I mean, you see you see first half, Zander, or even all games, Zander kicks the ball and the ball just spins back into your final third. Or final third. Um, but I feel like we, we sort of managed the conditions well. Um, we know that it's a tough place coming here, let alone with, with those conditions. Um, but no, I think overall we um, managed the game well, and uh, it's a good three points to take. How much is that another, another game, I mean, we've sort of seen the character of this, this squad, because obviously you're, you're a pretty comfortable position in the league. I mean, this place is a full house, looking for points to get top six and all that stuff, and you dug it out, didn't you? Yeah, definitely. Um, I mean, I think that's something we've definitely improved on from last season. I think um, last last season there was, there was probably times when we could say we're a, bit, a little bit soft and goals are too easy. I think this year we sort of got a bit of resilience about us and uh, we fight fight for each other a little bit more. Um, and we know coming here, and we know third's not secure. We want to still get more points on the board. We want to push um, push further away from, from Kilmarnock and the rest of the team. Uh, or teams. Um, but yeah, we know, we know there's still lots of games to, to play and obviously we've got a semi-final to look forward to as well. Like that semi-finals now, just a fortnight away, is that the kind of carrot as well to keep going and guys fight for places on? Yeah, definitely. Um, I mean, we've got the majority of boys sort of coming back in and we know it's a, been a competitive squad. It's been like that all season. Um, so we know places aren't guaranteed. Um, so we know that training, the standards have to be there and I think that's what we set uh, throughout the season. It feels strange not having Shankland and Doug front because I think he certainly missed a game or two this season. Yeah, I think he missed the Spartans game as the other game. But um, now, nah, listen, we know we know with Alfa Forest and Kenny up top, and we know they've got pace in behind. So we sort of tried to use that to our advantage a little bit. You know, Shanks is a is a quality player, but I think those two up top did a did a good job in uh, sort of filling in for him. What's it like having someone like Vargas in the team where he can probably chuck a ball up to him, or he's just going never going to get by defending a minute's piece? Yeah, it's good. I think he's he's got that fight and, and bit of bite about him, which is which is good to see. Um, it's, he's adapted to the league well and um, obviously he's signed permanently and we're delighted with that. I think he's just getting better and better. So, um, now nah, again, I thought today he was very good in running, running himself into the ground. Is he like that training? Yeah, he is a yeah, constant, constant pest, um, but, in, but in a good way. Listen, he's a, he's a very good player and like I said, we're delighted to have him for, for a permanent deal. The waveform came really good this season. Uh, the manager mentioned it. Is that something that the players spoke about or you spoke about at the start of the season or spoken about during the season? I think I got spoken about at the start of the season, and we sort of knew last season wasn't wasn't good enough away from home. You see, you see the fans; they, they turn up in their numbers every single week for away games. Um, I think that's ten away wins now or so, or so and it's a, it's a good return. I think there's probably still some away games we could have been better, but um, no, nah, we we know last year our away form wasn't good enough, so we set out to, to make sure this year was better. How do you do that? Just, I think, um, just trying to keep to the same principles, home and away, just try not to make it as difficult for ourselves. Um, and like I said, sort of have that resilience and, and, and fight. You see for the last, what, 20 minutes, or even the second half, 20 minutes to St. Mirren stick on more more players up, up top and you just have to deal with that. And I think everyone dealt with it today. Because last year was, a, it was an issue, wasn't it? It kept getting brought up the away form, didn't it, the results. And I think it was well, a handful of wins last year. It kept getting mentioned all the time and it became a kind of self-serving thing, didn't it? Maybe a bit like for um, for a hoodoo, can I talk about it? Yeah. Did, you, did you have to change anything? Did you think at that point in time, I mean, talking things like superstition or like seating the bus and all that stuff, were you thinking we need to change something daft here to get this, this going? No, no, not really. I mean, um, I can't quite put my finger on what it was last year, but I think this year we've just, like I said, just gone about our business home and away, same thing. And like I said at the start of the season, the manager said that our way from last season wasn't good enough. And then, like I said, you look at the, the fans we, we bring to away games, you have to grind out results and sometimes put on a show for the for the away fans because they, they come in their numbers, they pay their money and I think this season we've done that a lot better than, than last season. Well, Shankly defending, yeah. running up against something like Kilmander and things like that, he's got a problem a few inches on you height-wise and how was that sort of pattern? Yeah, I mean obviously it's, uh, it's tough, they've, they've got some big big players in their in their squads and 
tricky players as well. But um, like I said, you just you just have to stand up to it. Um, you just have to fight, and everyone who, was, who played in that defensive sort of position was good today. And even from set pieces, everyone was good and solid. So uh, yeah, it was good. Another point there about setting up to potentially next week to, to secure the top the third spot before the, the split. Is that just want to speak to the consistency this group's had this season? Yeah, exactly. Um, we mentioned it just before before the game in the meeting that listen, this this game if we win it, then third third's closer for us. But um, we still know there's there's a lot of football to be played, and we're not going to take our foot off the gas. Like I said, we've got a semi final, um, and then we still got what six league games as well. And we don't want the season to peter out like it has in previous seasons. We want to finish as, on as many points as we can. I think you're winning games like this is important as well going into that cup semi final in terms of yeah feeling. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, we had to show a little bit, little bit of something else. It wasn't wasn't the prettiest game, but at the end of the day, we got the three points, and uh, yeah, that's all that matters. Thanks, Thanks. Cheers. Cheers.